take a huge step forward in not only exploration, but also in science. Everything that, that the Norwegians have done, that the U.S. has done, they've stepped above and beyond the plate. It's, uh, it's pretty exciting. Uh, for both U.S. and Norway, this is a major undertaking in the International Polar Year. So if it turns out to be successful, that I think we have every every uh, reason to, to get there, it will be uh, a point uh, of uh, historic project between the two countries. And it's uh, two and a half years of planning now behind us. Looks great. <laughs> All right. I got a bubble. I got a bubble. There we go. Yeah. It looks really good with the two flags, huh? Mm -hmm. It does, actually. Yeah. At night time, we have to change it to the Japanese and German Exactly. <laughs> this is the last morning we're here at Troll. There's been so much that's happened in the last three weeks. It's really great to see it all come together. And, and uh, looking forward to get going. This is sort of what it's all about. Ready to go out and get some data. Looking back at the map. Uh, this is uh, the route we are going to focus on for the next two days. I would say dangerous, but uh, it's, a, it's a crevassed area. The first crevassed bit is up the steep part past the red line there. In fact, uh, you're, you're quite likely to see a few holes in the, in, in the snow there if you follow the track. We have had a couple of penetrations already. It's a thin snow cover, not big crevices, but just about big enough to swallow a person. When we spot the first crevice on the radar, we'll put a flag there so you know when you see the first flag, there's the first known crevice or first crevice that we've seen. No one will step down on the snow unless secured on a rope. Uh, if you have any urgent business to take care of while we're on the red line, then uh, get a rope on or walk out on the belts. And uh, I think that's about it. Norway has had a long history and traditions in both Arctic and Antarctica. Uh, goes from the very early days of exploration and uh, now we are in the modern times and uh, combining complex logistics and uh, advanced science. So uh, it is a major undertaking for Norway, yes. We're here, end of the second day, working in a snow pit. Uh -oh. Huge! We're looking at the crystal size and then we'll classify them. And we, we do that by taking photos so that I can, we can check our work once we get home. And uh, what we're looking for is the, uh, the different layers. What we see in the satellite images from this area is a different signature than the surrounding areas. Um, and although there's lots and lots of satellite images, what they really mean in detail is not well known. Well, and I usually try to get it as continuous as possible. We're just taking density samples all the way down. Known volume. And we've got a scale right over here to measure the weight. 43. And so that lets us calculate the density, and we're already seeing it change quite a bit in just the upper 20 centimeters. We want to know about the density because it'll tell us how the, how the snow forms, and how long it sits here, what kind of temperature variations you get, and even more importantly, it'll also tell us about what we see in the satellite images. 
The satellite images come out of the snow surface and they're affected by things like stratigraphy, crystal size, and density. I'm actually looking at the satellite data, satellite images as we go along and looking at what you see in the sat what you see from the satellite, what you see from the space, and comparing it from with uh, what you see on the ground, and you do see uh, a lot of correlations between um, from the space and uh, the surface, and that's just neat. This will be something that people maybe 25, 30 years, or 50 years later on will look back in the data books and use the data from the traverse. But I'm just excited to think about all these. The historical perspective, it'll be a great story to tell my grandchildren if I have any. <laughs> Thank you! A long time. Dinner! I got a cold butt.